Hello, today we are here with Chris Berens, Head of Artist Relations at Odyssey, which has an interesting name, which I pronounced first of all as Ordiz, but actually where does this name come from? Well, when we started the business in 2009 in one of our founders' garage, um, there was a movie poster hanging in the garage for 2001 A Space Odyssey, the Kubrick film. Uh, and so they were sitting around drinking beers, trying to come up with a name for the company. And they, they liked the word Odyssey. It's kind of a journey. They said, well, can we just change the beginning to make it kind of relate to audio, A-U-D. And then the easy E, I, I, probably just the beer. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So I was here yesterday at Superbooth and uh, listened to some of these amazing headphones. Can we maybe look at some of the lower cost headphones and then move up through the range and you tell us like what makes them special and different and um, what tasks they would be best for? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we just released or just announced uh, the new MM100 and it's a uh, 500 euros, 400 US uh, retail. It's kind of our entry-level pro headphone, um, kind of in a new market for us, aimed at bedroom producers, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but it, it captures a huge chunk of the sound of our full-size, full-range MM500 or LCDX or whatever headphone. You know, pr it's definitely pro quality, really well-built, uh, but more affordable, a little bit lighter weight. And it's got this cool feature where it's, it comes with a single-sided cable. So you just plug it into one side and it doesn't matter which side, um, it works the same way either way. So if one on the left, it's great. On the right, it still works. And what's different about these compared to the more expensive Big Brother? Uh, mostly it's about what it's made out of. So we repurposed the headband from our gaming headset, um, the Maxwell. And since we're already making so many of them, it's kind of economy of scale. Um, and we you know, kind of used a little bit thinner, lighter weight cable that doesn't cost as much with connectors that aren't, aren't quite as robust as the really pro level ones. Um, so just little things kind of knock down the price um, and the cost for us to build them. Simple, fewer moving parts. So instead of sliders in the headband, we have these notches. Um, it's kind of like an Apple Watch or something where you just move it on the pegs to resize it. Um, so all those things kind of add up to savings. And what's your policy if something breaks and something falls out and someone's just got their most amazing favorite pair of headphones? Um, what do you do with, for the customers then? Well, our, our warranty is very simple on the pro stuff. It's three years on the driver, um, one years or two years, depending on what region it is. You know, some countries have a law, but it has to be two years. So then it's two years on all the other parts. Um, and even out of warranty stuff, we tend to take care of people. You know, we like to take care of our customers. We know that it's a big investment. It's, we don't take that lightly, so it's important. So yesterday when I was checking out the MM100s, which were amazing, by the way, um, I was shown this as the inside of the headphone, and I'd love it if you could explain this in yeah. more depth. Yeah, so this is, this is one of the drivers from our headphone. Um, it's got magnets on the outside, and inside there's a thin film which is the plane of planar magnetic. And so the magnets are on the outside, the film is between them. And the film is what actually vibrates to make sound. So, uh, you know, just like a speaker or um, even your, your voice, you have vocal cords that vibrate, similar to the string of a guitar or piano or a drum head or whatever. Um, so it's vibrating and moving the air. So in order to make this vibrate, we have a magnetic field that surrounds the voice coil, which is actually etched directly into the aluminum that's on the film. So the whole thing is kind of one contained unit, and it's also very lightweight. So it stops and starts really quickly. It's very easy to control movement, um, which is partly why our headphones have really low distortion. Um, and so uh, what you get is basically a very low distortion flat sound wave, which is much more natural to your ear. So your brain interprets it more as a more realistic sound than the cone-shaped wave that comes from a cone-shaped speaker. And what is it about this part that makes your company different than other companies making headphones? Uh, well, we have a bunch of patents in how we do things. Um, there are other companies that make planar magnetic headphones and speakers, uh, but our CTO has been doing this for going on 50 years now. So he's got a lot of experience with planar magnetic technology and he's developed stuff that we have patents on so nobody else can do it. Uh, one of those things is the way we make the magnets um, where we, we take the magnetic field that would normally be wasted out into space 
and refocus it toward the driver so we can make the headphones lighter and make the magnetic field stronger on the diaphragm. Uh, and we have the way we etch the voice coil is very unique to our process. It's kind of a top secret thing that we don't even show people when they come visit. Um, because a lot of companies use chemical etching to remove the metal on the voice coil that they don't want. Um, but that leaves very jagged edges because the acid kind of leaks underneath and eats away the metal underneath the resist. Um, where our method is very clean and precise. Um, and we, uh, the shape of the voice coil is also another thing we have patents on. So we've figured out a way to equalize the magnetic flux on the diaphragm. So you have a magnetic field that's, say, two magnets. And in between that, the magnetic field is weaker, right? So what we do is we vary the width of the voice coil traces to equalize the, the pressure, basically. So underneath the magnet is very similar in magnetic field to outside here, as far as how the voice coil reacts to it. So it moves much more flat instead of rippling and distorting. Okay, I, it was pretty techy. I understood <laughs> half of it, but um, I'll have to watch it back there and then get some more of it. But thank you so much. Can you maybe show us um, one of the top end um, yeah. sets that you have, which I believe are 5,500? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Um, and tell us what makes this 5,500 compared to the MM100, which is 500. Why, if somebody has that in the bank, why should they go for this and not for the MM100s? Yeah, so this is our flagship LCD5 headphone. Um, it's lighter weight. It's made with acetate, magnesium, carbon fiber. Uh, it's, the ear pads are sculpted, so there's no parallel walls, um, which helps with reducing weight a little bit, but also reducing resonance of the ear cup so the, the ear pads don't absorb and reflect as much sound energy at certain frequencies. So basically you have a very even frequency response and a lot of detail in the sound. And the diaphragm itself is four times thinner than the other diaphragm. So this diaphragm is 1.8 microns thick, which is about the thickness of a white blood cell. Um, so pretty thin. But when you get to these, the, the diaphragm is 0 0.5 microns thick. So it's thinner than the thin side of a red blood cell. So very, very small, uh, which makes it harder to build. Um, we have more waste because we have impedance mismatches in some of the voice coil traces. So we, we figure about out of 10 drivers that we make, we'll get six that work. Um, so that makes it a little more expensive because we have a little more waste. Uh, but all the materials are also a little more exotic and harder to work with. And then we also have a nicer cable with adapters to fit different kinds of amplifiers and that kind of thing. Perfect. Thank you so, so much and have a great super booth. Thanks a lot. <laughs>